Lesson 6 is about integrands giving inverse trigonometric functions. For example number 5, we are to evaluate the integral of 2x minus 3 all over x squared plus 8x plus 25 dx. So if we base it on these three formulas on the right, the only, the only formula that does not have a square root or a radical sign is n sub 2. But take note that the denominator has a pattern a squared plus u squared, and in the numerator, it's only 1. So first we try if we can simply use integration by substitution by letting u equals x squared plus 8x plus 25. So if u is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 25, then du is equal to 2x plus 8 dx. In the numerator, if we have 2x plus 8, then we can just integrate the given by substitution. Yes, we have 2x in the numerator, but it's a minus 3 and not a plus 8. So what do we do? We can rewrite our numerator as 2x plus 8 plus a certain number, an unknown number, that would give us negative 3 here, over x squared plus 8x plus 25 dx. Now, what do we add to 8 so that the resulting number would be negative 3? That number would be negative 11. Right? 8 minus 11 is equal to negative 3. Next, because we now have 3 terms in the numerator and if we just have 2x plus 8 in the numerator we can perform integration by simple substitution then we are going to separate this into we are going to separate the given into two fractions that's 2x plus 8 over x squared plus 8x plus 25 dx minus the integral of 11 over x squared plus 8x plus 25 dx. So for the first integral, we can now answer this, evaluate the integral by integration by substitution. And for the second integral, we can change this denominator into the form a squared plus u squared as in n sub 2. So this is now du, the integral of du over u, and as for this, we rewrite, we rewrite x squared plus 8x plus 25 as we perform completing the squared, so x squared plus 8x plus, so again, to perform completing the square, so we divide the middle term by 2 and then we raise it to the power of 2. So this is 8 divided by 2, we get 4, and raise it to the power of 2, we get 16. So that's 16, but take note that it's 25 here, so there is still a missing 9, so plus 9. It's just that we are going to regroup it, and then we factor it out, so that's x plus 4 quantity squared plus 3 squared. This x plus 4 squared is our u squared, and this 3 squared is our a squared. Okay? So take note that the du now, take note that the du now is just equal to dx. So we can put 11 outside the integral sign, 
and then we have 1 over, we rewrite this now as u squared plus 3 squared du. So this is ln of u minus plus 11 times following this formula. That's 1 over 3 arctangent of u over 3 plus c. Or that's ln. For the first integral, our u is x squared plus 8x plus 25 minus 11 over 3 arctangent of u for the second integral for the second integral our u is x plus 4 so that's x plus 4 over 3 plus c